This is, this is, this is. Huge episode today. Huge, huge episode. It's a Music Monday. There's so many submissions. I'll talk about it in just a minute. But it is Thanksgiving week, which is another huge thing that's happening. Thanksgiving, if you don't, th- you know, you may not be from America. You don't celebrate Thanksgiving. But here in, in the U.S., we celebrate by eating way too much food. And I don't know. It's an American tradition. Um, Canadians have it, but it's on a different day. Um I don't want to be political, so I, I, I don't make Thanksgiving political. For, for me, it's about family. It's about getting together with your family and having a meal. And, of course, like I said, you know, food. What are you eating? Are you guys having turkey? Are you having a, a roast, a ham? It kind of switches up for us. Usually turkey for Thanksgiving, and then we switch it up for, for Christmas and do, like, a ham. Usually a ham. But um, – I, I love it all. I love all the traditional Thanksgiving foods. I love the stuffing. I love green bean casserole. Oh, my God, the green bean casserole is so good. I love cranberry sauce from the can with the can indentured, indented, indentured, indented on the side. Um, I love all that, you know. Um, and I say active. You know, I, I've, I've come to the conclusion that I don't want to deprive myself of good food, family, all of those experiences. So I'll train for Thanksgiving. That's right. I'll train. I'll start working out more in anticipation of eating so much good food. So I don't know if you guys are like that. I don't think that's probably the right way to do health and to do fitness and all that. But I I do it kind of just based on what I'm eating or what I'm doing. Like I'll work out more if I'm not working uh, you know, with the band as much. I'll work out more. And when I'm doing gigs and stuff, I'm not working out all the time because I feel like, well, playing is a workout. Um, and it really is. I wake up in the morning, my calves are sore. I'm like, man, those calf, you know, that calf workout I did yesterday on stage. Because I'm like, my right calf, my, my foot bounces on stage just almost the whole time. And I realize it, but I don't want to not do it. So I just keep doing it and... Sure, I get really sore on my right calf. I should have a giant calf muscle by now. You, you would think. I, I think my body somehow like normals it out. But, um, but so that's my that's my approach. <laughs> I'm not I'm not a personal trainer. I'm not a professional. Um, it just works for me. Everybody's different. Everybody's bodies are different. The way you process certain foods is different. Um, I try to eat healthy, although I'm not a stickler on things. I'm not a Nazi on things. I, I will have a McDonald's if I'm in some weird place where that's all that's offered. And sure, I'll have McDonald's, right? Um, sometimes you just crave it, you know, but, but it's never good after you eat it. After you're done, you're like, oh, that was a bad idea. Like Taco Bell's like that for me. Taco Bell. Oh my gosh. I haven't eaten Taco Bell in so long. It's been so long. Anyway, I'll probably keep it that way as long as I, you know, as long as I don't see any commercial where I'm like, oh my gosh, I want some Taco Bell now. I mean, commercials really do work sometimes, but um, we have a Music Monday. Before we get to that, if you want to support what I do and what we do with the podcast, mxpx.com is the best bet. We have a ton of new merch that's dropping this week at mxpx.com. It's our Black Wednesday sale, um, Black Friday, Black Wednesday. Um, We just try to, we try to, not be part of the Black Friday thing because it's just so crazy. Um, so we just, we're going to do it early. We're going to do it early like we usually do. And we have a ton of new gear. Um, we have hoodies. We have crew necks. If you don't want the hood, my wife's like, you should make crew neck sweaters because all she wears is crew neck sweaters. And so because of her, we have a crew neck sweater. Anybody that likes crew necks, go check it out. It's got the MXPX logo and a poking at your punk head on the sleeve. Um, a bunch of cool stuff. We have um, a new variant of the album, Find a Way Home. The new variant is called Nova, and it is so cool. Go watch the MXPX video on this because it, you can see the record. You can see what it looks like, and it is it's beautiful. Um, we have... You know, we have a bunch of stuff. I, I don't know. I mean, we have we have a new coloring book for the album. We have patches. I know people have been like, ah, patches. And, and of course, one of the big things we have is skate decks. 
three different designs for you to choose from. You can have them all, of course, if you want, but skate decks are are one of my favorite things we have. So cool. Um, that's all at mxpx.com. And if you're broke, don't worry about it. Don't feel guilty about buying things from us. Seriously. Just listen to the album. You can listen to it for free on our YouTube. You can check out all the videos that we have out. Uh, we made a video for every song. It's great to have a visual for everything. And we just wanted we just wanted us to be playing the songs in most of the videos. It was really done on purpose. We wanted us to just be playing the song. Um, but we didn't want it in the same exact room every for every song. So we, we switched it up. But mxpx.com, of course, um, go to YouTube, subscribe to the MXPX YouTube. Uh, would be amazing, always trying to grow that channel. And uh, believe it or not, we don't make a ton of money from our YouTube, but we are trying to grow it. We're always trying to put things out there. So if you at all go on YouTube, go check it out over there. Um, and if you just listen on a regular platform, Spotify, Apple Music, you know, t tum uh, what is it, uh, Tidal, uh, there's a bunch. There's a bunch of them. They're all good with me. I don't care. We just want you to listen. And so whatever you're listening on, please add the new album, Find A Way Home. Um, you know, some of the favorites are Stay Up All Night definitely is is the top song from that album, uh, from the new album. But, uh, you know, some other ones are Not Today, which I'm really happy about. We love playing Not Today. And um, another one is Track 2, This Is What You Told Me. Now, I don't know if you've checked out Track 2. That song is fun, fun, fun. And, you know, it's a song about, it's about getting advice from a friend and, he was pumping me up, telling me all these things, you know, and, and it really does. It's almost like listening to a podcast sometimes. Like I've talked about this before, you know, listening to a podcast that gives you advice or gives you to make, you know, helps you learn something that you didn't already know that actually applies to your life. Cause there's plenty of just random knowledge that we hear throughout the day, throughout our weeks, throughout our months and, and, it doesn't really matter. It's kind of cool to know sometimes, but like when you really hear something that you can use and I just wanted to relay that sentiment into this song um, for other people to hear, you know, and, and for me, you know, when I hear back, when I play that song, I think about those words and I think about getting pumped up and not fearing failure. And, you know, cause a lot, it's, it's the uncomfortable things that we don't want to do in life that are usually what we need to be going towards. You know, when you need to call this person to ask them to if they want to be part of this project or it's like, oh, well, what if they say no? And, well, yeah, there's, there's going to be some no's. So once you get that first no, you're like, well, I guess I could take another no, but I don't want to, so I'm going to keep calling. And somebody's eventually going to say yes, right? And, 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 and a lot of times you turn out, it turns out you get more yeses than you're, you even thought you would right so that song is for me it's personal but it's i feel like it's it's for everybody i mean so go check out that song this is what you told me it's track two um off of uh the new album um we're gonna play we're gonna play some songs when we come to some cities near you the next mxp show is in seattle sold out december 30th at the show box with diesel boy gonna be awesome and we are going to do some interesting stuff. We're going to definitely change it up from show to show. So the next show is our first show of 2024, January 6, 2024, at the Hollywood Palladium in Los Angeles, California. MXPX, Less Than Jake, Reliant K, and Smoking Popes. All together, one night. It's almost like a mini festival, but it's all four headliner bangers of bands. Like It's going to be so much fun. We're inviting all our friends out, so come on out. There's still tickets available because it's a huge place, but a ton of tickets have been sold. It's getting there. It's getting low. So if you want to come to our show at the Palladium in Los Angeles, come see one of the best MXPX shows you can see because we are planning it right now to be that way. Come see us, but don't wait on tickets because they are getting lower. All right. Uh, and then from there, MXPX is going to be with the Ataris. We're going to do a bunch of shows starting um uh, uh what just happened uh, um hold on i lost my page here we go all right starting february 9th 
Friday, February 9th, 2024, MXPX in the Ataris at Webster Hall in New York City, New York. And then the very next night in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Saturday, February 10th at Union Transfer, MXPX in the Ataris. Philadelphia is going to be fun. It's been a while since we've been there. Well, New York's going to be fun too. Um, and then the next month, Friday, March 15th at Buckhead Theater in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, yeah. Our lighting guy's hometown. You know, it'll be good. Uh, lighting's going to be off the hook. Um, what else? We got, we got, why? This is giving me fits, you guys. It keeps going back to the wrong page. So I can't, uh, I can't read the uh, show schedule. Okay. I went to a different page. We got uh, March 15th, March 16th. Okay. So March 15th in Atlanta, March 16th. In Orlando, Orlando, Florida, at the House of Blues, if I if I remember correctly, um, and then we have April fifth in Denver, Colorado, with Five Iron Frenzy and the Ataris. So Five Iron Frenzy's uh, main support that night, and they're you know it's their hometown, so of course we have to have them on the show. So that's April 5th at the Ogden Theater. Not the Bluebird where we've played the last few times, at the Ogden Theater. So don't show up at the wrong place. And tickets are going to sell out, so don't wait. Um, April 6th, Salt Lake City at the Depot, right? The Depot, Saturday night, April 6th, Salt Lake City, MXPX in the Ataris. That show is going to be busy, so do not wait on tickets. We can't wait to come back to Salt Lake City. Um, there will be more dates coming you know we're going to be coming overseas we're going to be heading to australia eventually so a lot of people have been asking about all that and yes we will be there so thank you sorry about the problem like with my um, with my uh, i look like joe biden up here trying to like work on the computer Anyway, <laughs> let's get to Music Monday. All right, so Music Monday, um, Bob McKnight, thank you for producing and gathering all of these Music Monday submissions. To submit, you need to be, well, you just need to go to a, the Mike Herrera Podcast Facebook group, which is private, even though it doesn't, it's free, of course, but you just have to ask to join, and then we'll let you in, as long as you're not a bot or something. We haven't had any problems with spam lately, right? It's been pretty good. So go there and uh, give us a YouTube link and a message, if you want, on there, and we will gather that and put it on the show like we're about to do. So a bunch of people submitted. I'm excited. Now, the rules of Music Monday. First rule, really the only rule, but there's two rules. But the first rule is it's first listen for me, and then I react to that. So I haven't heard these songs in advance. We're all hearing them together for the first time, or at least most of us. And then rule number two really is just for you guys, if you want to be part of this, give us a YouTube link so that when we put it down here, everybody can go and listen, and it's just easy. We're, we're, we're working on the same link rather than like not everybody has Spotify, not everybody has an Apple Music link kind of thing that works. So YouTube's easy. YouTube's free. So we, we go with that. For the people... By the people. Music Monday. Let's go. All right. Are you guys ready for this? Here's the first, the first message. Steve Nelson, submission for New Music Monday. My band Stray the Course, Denver, Colorado, released a new single last month called These Drawers Are Full of Things I Have No Use For Anymore. We hearkened back to the days of PATD and FOB. I assume that's Fallout Boy, using ridiculously long song names on their albums. It's one of my favorite songs we've ever written because the writing process was so bonkers, more so than usual. Truly a collaborative effort. We have two guitarists slash singers in the band, myself and Ronnie. One day Ronnie said he had a few vocal lines written out and asked if I had a chord progression. I tracked a four or eight bar loop with an idea I had. He wrote a verse and a chorus. I helped him finish the words. He wrote a guitar lead line. I added a harmony. We wrote a bridge. I added a guitar octave solo over the bridge. And so on and so forth. It was like a game of pop punk ping pong. It was a group effort. Anyway, I hope you all like it. Give it a listen. 
We're on all music streaming slash buying platforms as well. You know where to find us. Cool. The band, again, is called Stray the Course, and the song is called These Drawers Are Full of Things I Have No Use For Anymore. Okay, that's a great message, Steve. All right, let's, let's get to it. I'm going to... I'm gonna play. I'm not gonna play all. And, and here's the third rule: is I don't play the full song usually, just for time. But I do play. You know, I play quite a bit of it and, and just get the gist of it. All right, here we go. Let's go. When most of us think of forms. <laughs> You got to be kidding me. All right, I'm, I'm muting the commercial. I, like right when I was about to, it was about to hit, it goes to a commercial. <laughs> Come on, guys. Check your shit. All right, let's try it again. And hold for edit. Maybe we won't edit this. Here we go. Cool, man. I, I love that you have a story behind writing the song. It makes it more memorable. It makes it more memorable for you when you perform it, I would assume. Um, hey, nothing, nothing, nothing bad here. You guys, solid sounding riff, solid sounding playing, cool parts, lyrics, uh, the vocals sound good. Um, well done, guys. Awesome. All right, let's, uh, let's go to the next one. Derek Price, Music Monday submission. Here we go. All right, I've called in a few times. Derek from Lexington, Kentucky. Hey, Derek. Uh, this is Derek again. Meant to submit my band, Semper Vivi. I think I'm saying that right. Semper Vivi or Semper Vivi? No, I'm going to go with Semper Vivi. Vivi? I'm going to start this over. Here we go. I'm just going to go with it. And I apologize, Derek, if it's not the right way. You'll have to call in and... And tell us how wrong I was. All right. Here's Derek. All right. I've called in a few times. Derek from Lexington, Kentucky. Meant to submit my band Semper Vivi for a while. This is off our newest EP, Big If True. Thanks. Cool. Big If True. That's the EP. And the song's called Prosthetic Reflections. All right. Here we go. Good luck. Thanks for sending it in, Derek. Let's check it out. Semper Vivi. I hope that's the, the pronunciation of the band. And if it isn't, I apologize. But I, I respect you. And let us know. One day we had a car for them to survive. I like it. Dope. I like it. I like it a lot. It's not a very long song. It's like a, a minute and a 
half. That's Semper VV prosthetic reflections. It starts out with so much energy. It really kept, it caught me right away. I liked it right away. There's a lot going on. There's, there's like the, the whoa part. It's cool. Um, I, I like it, guys. I mean, I think he did a good job. Semper VV. Um, I, sometimes, I mean, it, maybe you did this on purpose. I almost want to, maybe I haven't heard it all, so <laughs> maybe you do. But that very first part that you start with, man, I almost want to kind of want to come back to that. And maybe you do at the end, maybe you don't. And it's okay if you don't, because then it just makes me want to like, okay, let's start the beginning again. But um, that's a cool song. Cool sound, too. I like the overall sound of the band. Very cool. Um, let's go on to the next one. We have Jacob Headkey, Painted Light. He's been on before, so here he is again. Painted Light's new music Monday post for Sad Sad Summer featuring Saren. That's Saren, S-E-R-Y-N. That's an interesting name. Saren. Saren? Yeah, Saren. I, I don't know. Another pronunciation I'm not sure on. <laughs> the pronunciation podcast. Here we go. Uh, okay, continuing. Why is why this song is special, Colin? I had previously written my wife a song called The Tinder Song when we were dating, and she wanted a more meaningful song. <laughs> Laughy face. So I wrote her this one. Smiley face. No music yet. If any of y'all out there make animated or stop motion music videos yet. Oh, sorry, no music video yet. Of course there's music. I was thinking, this is going to be interesting. Uh, no music video yet. If any of y'all are out there, uh, make animated or stop motion music videos, let Jacob know. He wants. He's looking to collab on something. All right, Sad Sad Summer featuring Saren or Sarin. I'm not sure, but that's how we live our lives these days. All right, here we go. Painted light. Well, you came to me in the night, yeah, like a dove. When most of us Well, there's the commercial. Um, all right. Well, so far, I like it. It's cool. Um, skipping the commercial. But here we go. Then you came to me through the window. thinking about it I, I i like it i like the way it starts um i kind of like that first bit the way it sounds a lot before it goes to like it's a heavier part the heavier part's cool but it's just not as doesn't hit as much i don't know it's not it's maybe because it's harder there's so much going on you're not really sure what to focus on should i focus on the guitar should i focus on the vocals should i focus on this other guitar thing or the bass that's also moving a little bit it sounds pretty good. The bass is a little out there, although I love bass loud. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it sounds like you're doing a lot of this stuff yourself. I wonder if you play ev all the instruments, Jacob. Um, well done if you do, because, I mean, it's it's sounding very cool. Like, I really like that rhythm or whatever it is, that, that sticky rhythm. That's a cool hook. All right, cool. Thanks for submitting. And if there's anybody out there that wants to work on a video, I think Jacob's looking for some help. All right, moving on. Marshall Shane Meeker. Yo, saw y'all at Furnace Fest and wanted to share my band's music with you. COVID kind of wiped us out, but our second record we recorded with James Paul Wisner 
which was a bucket list for me. Anyway, y'all set was my favorite, and please never stop making music. Thanks, Marshall. All right, so we have Strange Her, Emni, Emni. So Emni is, I don't know what Emni is. So Strange Her is the band. The Scarlet Chord is the song. Sometimes when you put a link up, it doesn't necessarily show you the, the, the right obvious things. But all right, drinking game. If an ad comes up during the YouTube video, everybody take a shot, okay? I wish I had something to drink. It's during the day. I probably shouldn't be. When did that stop me ever? All right. Let's, uh, let's check out Strange Her, The Scarlet Chord. Yeah, that's so well done. Um, sounds great. Video looks great for those, you know, checking it on YouTube. Um, Marshall, great job. Great job. That's a cool, so that's a cool band, whatever. Strange Her. Never heard of you guys, but it sounds like you've really, you've done some cool stuff. Um, wish you would have said where you're from. I don't know where you're, you guys are from, but strange her, like stranger, strange her, get it? Ha ha. Well done. All right. We have Chris Adam Durgan. Hey Mike, it was incredible to see you guys play at Furnace Fest a couple weeks back. I was definitely was definitely my favorite set of the weekend and a major reason I grabbed tickets. Wanted to share a new single my band Steel Boy released on Friday and see if you'd consider reviewing it on Music Monday. Hope you guys come out to the East Coast soon to tour the new record. Come to Richmond, Virginia. Yeah, we always love Richmond. Um, okay, so Steel Boy. Let's check it out. This one's uh, called Bodies in the Basement by Steel Boy. My journey with my teeth. And there we go, everybody drink. It happens. Here we go.
it right away. Right, right when I heard it, I, I liked it. It sounds great. Um, it, you know, I can tell you guys, you guys are uh, just having fun with it. It really sounds like a, a good time. Now, one of my favorite bands from back in the day was this band called Half a Cat, and I think they were all women except for like one dude or something like that. But like Mike Moen was in the band back then. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I just always really liked them, and they had these kind of dissonant, melodic yet dissonant chord progressions and stuff. And what you guys are doing is definitely like more new school punk stuff, skate punk I- infused. But you kind of have that dissonant chord progression with the pop vocal. the The female vocal sounds awesome. Wow, I really I, this is like a new discovery. Steel Boy from Richmond, Virginia. Gonna have to check them out more. Um, Man, very cool. All right. Loving it. Bodies in the basement. That's hard. All right, let's go. What do we got next? Matthew Swartz. Hey, Mike, love the new album. Huge fan. Your music has influenced my writing for years. Aaron Sprinkle and I would love to have you on the Moon Traveling podcast sometime, and I would love to be on your podcast as well. In the meantime, I would love to submit my band Pacifico's song, Feel Alive, for Monday Music. It was directly influenced by MXPX and other bands. I hope you like it. Wow. Okay. I'm going to have to check out um, your podcast, Move Traveling, uh, with Aaron. Obviously, I know Aaron. Um, and so, yeah, I, I'm down. Let me know. We'll, we'll talk about it. All right. Let's 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 uh, let's check out your song. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm interested. I'm intrigued to hear your song that was influenced by my band. And other bands. All right. This is Pacifico Feel Alive. I've heard of Pacifico. Here we go. Let's gather around and start this meeting For me, I'm broke Damn it, crack, belly afloat Hoping there's a cure for who I am and how I'm ailing I used to think that I could fly Happy thought to reach the sky There we go. Thank you. Thank you. That was cool. Pacifico, feel alive. You know, Matthew Schwartz, um, I can hear. I can hear some MXPX. I can hear a little bit of Aaron Sprinkle in there, like his vibes. Um, really cool sounding song. I like it. I dig it. It just sounds cool. It sounds big. It sounds, it sounds timeless. It sounds like it could have came out in the 90s, early 90s could have come out yesterday you know like so and and, and obviously is a new song um cool i like it i dig pacifico to check more of that out all right i like the grodginess of it too it's not it's not over it's oversaturated in some ways in a cool way uh meaning but i was saying it's not like overly in your face it's like it's it's like a pillow it's like pushing you Um, All right, let's move on. Here we go. James Pendle. Hi, Mike. Huge fan of the new album. Please, can I submit my band Stank Finger for consideration for New Music Monday? Absolutely, James. Of course you can. We are a ska punk slash pop punk band from the UK. This is our recent single, Help Yourself, which will also be part of our upcoming album release, Three Finger Discount. 
All right. We can be found at stankfingermusic.com as well as at stankfingermusic on socials. Keep up the great work with the podcast. I love it. I love it. All right. So help yourself by the band Stank Finger. Let me find it here. All right. From the UK, here we go. Help yourself. Dude, okay, you guys have a lot of, well, half of you guys have a lot of facial hair in the band <laughs> and a lot of hair. Uh, and did I see some face tattoos? Um, I like the song, like, uh, I didn't know what to expect, but I, I it's a great song and this, it sounds cool. You can hear everything. I like how you guys switch off the vocals a bit. Uh, I was not expecting, even though you said you were a ska band, you know, ska punk band, but I wasn't expecting ska for some reason. Then you bust into ska. Um, yeah, man. I mean, keep digging it, man. Like, just fun songs. Sounds good. You guys sing good. The harmonies are great. You can hear the bass playing. Like, I dig it. I dig it. Help yourself. That's awesome. The band's called Stank Finger. Make sure you guys go give them a follow. Stank Finger. Ha. Huh. UK. Um, I wonder where where from the UK you guys are. Uh, maybe call in, let us know. All right. Very cool. Nate, uh, moving on. Here we go. With Nate Parrish. Not sure if this is how it, uh, it works, but here is my Music Monday submission. This is God Knows from my current release, Soul Surgery. I wrote this about my time in a spiritually abusive culture, and the feelings of wanting to speak up, but being conditioned to not challenge authority. It also features the amazing David Bunton of The Showdown. Thanks, homie. I'm a DIY guy, so I created the lyric video and artwork, so that was fun. Anyway, I hope you check it out. You're adding pages to a finished book. Keep building gates around our neighborhood. You're turning faith into a pyramid scheme. You stay on top, but... Put grace on lock and keep the key. That's some lyrics from the from the song. So this is Nate Parrish, God Knows, featuring David Bunton. Nate Parrish, God Knows, featuring David Bunton. Let's go. Oh, right, cool. Here we go. Yeah. 
All right, where's David? I can't. I don't know who's David or who isn't, but uh, this sounds really good. It's a cool song. Uh, I, I hear what you're trying to say. It's heartfelt. Uh, really, really well done, Nate. Really well done. Um, sorry, I kind of botched the end of your song a little bit, but I was trying to find. Is there an obvious part where like David's screaming or something? But uh, like I said, I'm hearing this for the first time ever, and I'm not trying to hear you know the whole song. But um, very good, very good. God knows the chorus kind of feels like it's like open. There's no drums. It's like, wow, that's a, that's different, but I, good job. I mean, why not try it, do it now and again? Why does every song have to have a drum on the chorus? It doesn't. So yeah, well done. Uh, let's do, I think we got one more, one more, but that, that was Nate Parrish. God knows featuring David Bunton. Very cool. All right, here we go. One more, you guys, Steve Nelson, Hey, Mike, longtime MXPX fan and loyal podcast listener here and love what you do with New Music Mondays. My band is called Clipwing, and we are a pop punk band from Winnipeg, Manitoba. We've been given her uh, for almost 10 years and are on the cusp of tracking our new full length record. Our last official EP, Ashford, was recorded and produced by fellow Pegger and Propagandi frontman Chris Hanna. As the new stuff's in the cooker, I can't share the demos just yet. Nonetheless, I figure I'd share a track we released a few years back called Wet Streets. It's not new, new, but probably new to you and your listeners. We can't wait to get this new LP in the books. I hope you enjoy, and thanks again for shining a spotlight on the little guys. P.S. If y'all like it, we've done some other videos that are up on YouTube. Just search us. Awesome. Love it. Love Winnipeg, Manitoba. I uh, appreciate you uh, sending it in. It sounds like it sounds like Clipwing has been around a bit, like like you said, ten years, but doing a lot. So um, love that you submitted, and I can't wait to hear the new stuff too. Uh, let's let's check out Wet Streets though. This is Clipwing, Wet Streets. <clears throat> sounds really good clip wing from winnipeg manitoba um man you guys sound great wet streets is the song they are working on a new album right now I'm sure it'll sound even better uh wow great song great feeling great vibe i love the vocal i love the sound of the bass i love the drum everything it sounds great uh, the visual of you guys recording in the studio is great um really impressed by this group of music monday and uh, I appreciate you guys. Um, that's it. We're done. Um, 
I don't think we'll get into any voicemails quite yet today. I think we're just going to stick with a straight Music Monday. That's it. All you guys. All about you. And then next week we'll do um, probably do some more voicemail. So happy Thanksgiving week to all of you that, that celebrate. I appreciate you all uh, for listening. Subscribe to the podcast if you haven't already done so. See me over on the Facebook page. Uh, page my career podcast page group whatever it is um and wherever wherever you are i'll see you around all right uh we'll see you out there mxpeaks.com for tickets hollywood palladium let's go let's kick it off 2024 the right way we make that happen all right um shout out to bob mcknight again for producing and making it happen if you do want to leave a voicemail call us at 360-830- Six 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 zero. That's three six zero eight three zero six 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 zero. All right.